Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we take a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Old Game Stylized Props Pack. But you'll probably notice the name of the video is actually Graveyard Stylized Props. Now, obviously, this is specifically a, a graveyard style, so where the term Old Game comes from, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's take a look. It comes with a demo scene, which, yep, I always love. Uh, but, however, if you load up the demo scene, you may be presented with this. Nothing to worry about, really. Um, I mean, ultimately, I'm not too bothered about the plane that comes with it, because um, I probably wouldn't have used it anyway. Uh, and if you're like me, you'll just be interested in uh, the actual props inside the pack, rather than just the uh, plane. So, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to quickly apply a texture to it to make it look at least a little better, I should say. So, quality. Um... It's okay. It does describe itself as AAA quality, but I don't think it is AAA quality. Um, I mean, you can see that just by looking at this tree here. That's certainly not AAA. But there's nothing stopping you adding a really nice high quality texture to that tree. So the models themselves, I think, are pretty decent. They, they do look decent enough, uh, but certainly the textures applied to them aren't up to scratch. Uh, but like I say, just apply your own if you need to. Uh, shape of them I think is good enough, uh, they're nice to work with. Uh, they are mostly whole models, for example this one here you can't move around the top of the uh, coffin which is a little bit unfortunate but you know it's it's free so you can't really complain. At least it's free right now as of recording this. Uh, don't forget assets do go up and down over time, uh, they may go up, they may go down, they may stay free forever, just keep that in mind. Uh, 7 megabytes as well, so it's a nice, decent size, even with a slow connection. Um, so yeah, quantity, we get a fair bit here. I think it, there's a nice amount to actually use. So if you're prototyping a game and you need a bit of a graveyard theme going on, uh, you just need some assets in place to see what it would look like, this is probably going to be pretty decent. I think it's a nice asset to actually use and get things into place. Um, it is customizable as always with this kind of asset. You can take different elements of it, change things, you know, put albedo alpha on there, increase the normal map if you want to, that kind of thing. So yeah, obviously, I always encourage this uh, kind of behavior when you create or rather download an asset and create a game with it. Modify those assets to make them your own rather than just take them as they are. Um, so for a good example, Try and get my words out this time. A good example of that is quickly applying a bit of post-processing and just seeing what it looks like. So that's all it takes sometimes, a bit of post-processing and a bit of working on different assets. Extras, nothing really in the way of extras. I mean, we, we get a nice amount here to deal with. We've got all the prefabs here and then all the source uh, material for everything. Um, I do have a little bit of a problem with the way the folders are laid out. I feel there's too much here. They're not neat, if anything. There's no real need to have everything in separate folders like this. If everything was clustered together, as it should be in most asset packs, I think it would probably go a, a long way in my books. I just don't think there's a need to have this kind of thing. I mean, also naming materials as just material and no name, it, it doesn't really help too much. But again, that's just the way I am. So I would have preferred a bit neater layout within the folders. Uh, but other than that, I guess it's fine. Um, so yeah, usefulness, like I said, if you're creating a graveyard kind of area and you just want to see what it would look like with a couple of assets before you splash out and buy some, then this is going to be great. I, I can see you being able to create a nice area with some temporary assets with this. And, you know, like I say, if you customize it to a degree, yeah, you should be all right with it. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this if you're prototyping. I would not recommend this if you are creating a game with a graveyard theme, unless you're prepared to put that extra work in and source out extra textures, higher quality textures for that exact purpose. Obviously, like I say, because they're not really high quality at all. Uh, but yes, so if you're prototyping, you just need a couple of free assets to check things out, then yes, I'd recommend this to you. If you know what you want, and if you're willing to, you know, search around for different assets, then 
I don't think it's even worth bothering with, unfortunately. So guys, have you tried this asset yourself? If you have, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is it a nice asset? Is it a good asset? Is it bad? Just tell me your reasons. And if you've got an asset on the asset store as well, let me know. I'd love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these videos. And finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload about video game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.